What's up guys, welcome to the Macintosh Review. Today Apple surprisingly released iOS 11.2 Beta 1. We still have not seen the official public release of iOS 11.1 yet, but we do have a new beta of iOS 11.2. And in this video I wanted to run through all of the new features, changes, performance and speed updates in iOS 11.2, let you guys know what's changed. So let's jump right into the video. So I do want to begin by actually saying that I do expect the final iOS 11.1 release to be available this week. The iPhone 10 actually releases this Friday, so I'm definitely interested in seeing what version of iOS that that actually ships with. I'm assuming that the iOS 11.1 final release will come either this week or with the iPhone 10 release later in the week. So I will update you guys when that is available, but that's what I expect in terms of the final iOS 11.1. But let's jump into iOS 11.2. So I have iOS 11.2 installed here on my iPhone 6s, and I'll jump in here guys unfortunately it actually auto downloaded when it was connected to Wi-Fi here so I didn't actually get the change log screenshot for you guys but it actually came in at a 2.2 gigabyte download which is actually a pretty significant download and I did actually have some storage updates before and after so before installing I had 57.55 gigabytes available and after installing I had 58.39 so it did gain a good amount of storage there guys so definitely a good thing you will save storage with the newest beta now in terms of features there's not too much that has actually changed guys not too many outward facing GUI features, but I will jump into a couple of bug fixes here. Now probably the main change is in the calculator app. So if you guys knew in the past, there was actually a bug that if you want to type in a calculation really quickly, the animations on the calculator app would actually slow it down. It would be an incorrect result uh, due to the animations. I have actually updated that so you guys can see here, I'll move this up here. If I got one plus two plus three, it equals six. So that has been changed, it has been fixed. So very nice to see that there is no longer a bug there. Now another new feature is actually back in the sidebar here if you go ahead and swipe down we do have the old search feature re-implemented into iOS 11 this was not previously available on the old versions now another update is actually in the settings application if you go very very deep into the menus here I'll go into accessibility then display accommodations you can see that the actual update in the menu bar actually says what it actually is so it says accessibility rather than just saying back in the previous versions it just gave you a back button now it actually says what it is now outside of those updates guys it does obviously include all of the changes we saw in iOS 11.1 but there isn't too much else to talk about. Now, a couple things I don't like about iOS 11.2 beta one is that there is no messaging within iCloud. So they have not implemented that yet within iOS 11. And they also have not implemented the peer-to-peer -peer payments within iMessage using Apple Pay just yet. Really disappointed to see that. I'm sure they will implement it in a future beta, probably after the iPhone 10 is released. Now there's also an issue with the dock charging on iOS 11.2. So if you do charge your device using a dock and you plug it in on a dock just like that, and you unplug it, if you go to actually charge it using the lightning cable, it will not work. So that is a bug that was actually found in iOS 11.2. So they need to fix that in the next beta, but I actually don't charge it that way. So I won't have an issue there. But if you do, that is an issue. Just know that they will be fixing it soon, hopefully. And I really don't like to see bugs like that in beta releases, but hopefully they fix it soon. So this leads me to the speed and performance guys. So this does actually feel really, really stable. iOS 11.1 beta 5 did feel very, very stable as well. This could be a final release to me honestly, but I did run a Geekbench. I'll go ahead and open it up here and you guys can see the history here. So before actually installing iOS 11.2 beta one, I had a 1460 single core score and a 2471 multi-core score. A lot of you guys are saying that's a bit low, but keep in mind this is an iPhone 6S and it is a beta firmware. And after updating, I did have 1793 single core score and 3135 multi-core scores. So quite a significant jump there guys. And it does go hand in hand with the performance that I've been experiencing as well. Very, very smooth, very, very fluid, almost final release in my opinion and I really do like the speed and performance. Now battery life I actually have not had this installed yet for long enough to know how battery life is but I hadn't had any issues with iOS 11.1 beta 5 so I expect it to be very very good as well and honestly guys I think it's a very very good overall release. I think that they will be ironing out the bugs even more for the iPhone 10. They don't want any software bugs there and like I said I'm very interested to see what version the iPhone 10 actually ships with of iOS 11 so we'll have to wait and see but I will keep you guys updated on that. Anyway hopefully you liked this video. If you did be sure to drop a like on the video and be sure to subscribe. I very much appreciate it, guys. I've also listed my Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus page, website page, and Instagram page, as well as my Patreon, all down in the description. Definitely follow those and check those out. Great way to stay in touch with me. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.